Ha lea. Praise be to Yahweh. God is good. My goodness. God is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. He loves you. God loves you. Hallelujah.
Satan and his army of demons. Oh, they're fighting Yahweh's army of angels. For the control of the lost souls of the earth. child of God. the 
Amazing song that he gave me. Hallelujah. I will try to start playing it more and more for y'all. Hallelujah. God is good. Bear with me just for one minute here. Hallelujah. It's that time of year. <laughs> Praise God. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My goodness. Hallelujah. God is good. My, 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 my. is good.
Hallelujah. God loves you. You need to realize that. God loves you. Now, hallelujah. That being said, I know that there are a lot of people that are really big on starting over. And what you do is at this time, at the beginning of the new year, and as we are ending a year, that for some people could have been a rough year and a lot of people they make the decision because they came to a conclusion that they could definitely do better and the answer to your problem is you need to understand that change starts with you you will not have a better life until you realize that you need to go deep inside of your soul and you need to begin to clean out the things that are stopping you from becoming the person that Yahweh wants you to be. And people... There is a reason why that Jesus Christ's birth was at the end of the year. That is not a mistake. That is by design. Because Yahweh wants you to understand that even though you are at the end of a rough season, you may be in the middle of a dark time. Everything around you might be falling apart but Yahweh put his son's birth at the end of the year that a way he could encourage you to let the past go and accept his son as your Lord and Savior and then you will start with a brand new day. This is also the same thing as becoming born again. Because, see, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, what happens is, through Him, He gives you access to become a citizen 
and a productive member of the kingdom of Yahweh. Because, see, Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then it says, When you do that, everything else in your life will fall into place. Now, I remember a time in my life that I used to smoke two to three packs of cigarettes a day. That's right, Marlboro Red. And I smoked those cigarettes one after another, and I was a chain smoker. I did so much damage to my body that I had a difficult time doing a lot of things that required effort. I could not run. I couldn't get out there and, and walk up and down stairs because the damage that the cigarette smoke and all the chemicals from smoking they just caused a lot of issues with my body. But I'll never forget when Yahweh spoke to me and he said, it's time to quit and I'm going to help you. And Yahweh did some things to get it through my stiff neck my thick skull, my hard head to show me what would happen if I did not complete this very important task of being delivered from smoking cigarettes. So, but through that process, Yahweh was with me every step of the way. Every time that I had a nicotine attack, Yahweh would do something to me and it would just go away. He would just come to me and I would feel his presence and the nicotine just left my body. Now it took a good four or five months for my body to go through that transition of getting rid of all those toxins. But Yahweh helped me do some things so that I would get rid of all those cancer-causing chemicals that have stored themselves in my body. So, even at my weakest moment, Yahweh showed up and really filled me with his presence that a way that I would not have that very unhealthy desire that was a very difficult habit to break. But with all difficult things that you might face, guess what? Yahweh has the answer, the correct formula to your problems. Now, with that being said, Yahweh will help you do things to encourage you to be more healthier. Now, just like the 
sickness that I faced with diabetes, Yahweh put the correct people in my path that had a strong desire and they were very determined to do the things that I needed to start making my making those things a part of my daily routine so and he put the proper people in my life to encourage me to do what was correct because see I did not understand the information and the dangers of the preservatives and the chemicals that they put in food. I thought as long as I was eating clean food, such as according to the Bible, that everything would be okay. I did not understand and I did not comprehend the dangers of all the preservatives and the chemicals and how they took food, genetically modified it, and then removed all the natural nutrition and then added stuff that in the long run it was very dangerous for the human body to consume those type of preservatives and chemicals that man was putting in food and all this stuff it was just designed to make food go farther and also to give food a longer shelf life. They do this thing and they do stuff like that to fill their pockets up but they do it at the expense of causing health issues. Now, in order for me to overcome that difficult time in my life, I needed some supernatural help. But See, I was able to overcome smoking and having diabetes because I learned a long time ago what I needed to focus on was seeking first the kingdom of Yahweh. And through that process, I became reborn so I started heading straight toward Yahweh and even though I was growing in knowledge even though my path was not clear Yahweh began to send me on a journey that really made my life better. So, if you will learn to seek Yahweh and become a member of His kingdom the correct way, what will happen is 
every time you mess up, he will help correct you. And everything that you were doing in your past, Yahweh will go back through the database of your heart and begin to clean it up. You will begin to experience a lot of dreams. You will begin to experience visitations from angels. Yahweh will go out of his way to help you. And when I was at the beginning of my transition, one of the Bible verses that Yahweh gave me in a dream was Luke chapter 9 verse 23 and here's what it says he was saying then to all if anyone desires after me to come let him deny himself and let him take up the cross of him every day and let him follow me. So, being a member of the kingdom of Yahweh, it's a daily process every day you need to be saved which is rescued from your worldly knowledge and you need to be re-educated that way you will have the correct answers in the database of your heart and daily you will receive salvation. That is how come Jesus Christ is known as the Savior. You need to understand that you need to reject the knowledge of the world and begin to dig deep into the biblical knowledge of the kingdom of Yahweh. Now, verse 20. Four of Luke chapter 9 says whoever For might desire Whoever for might desire the life of him to save will lose it. Whoever, however, might lose the life of him on the account of me, he will save it. So, 
you have to understand becoming reborn and receiving a new birth in life, a new start, you need to be willing to go through a transition and you will not be alone. You have to lose your worldly life and forsake it. And through that transition process of coming to Christ and accepting him as your high priest and Lord and Savior, you will gain citizenship into the kingdom of Yahweh. You will become a member So, but you need to be willing to let go of the past and you need to be willing to embrace your future. Verse 25 says, What for is profit a man having gained the world himself now having destroyed or suffered the loss of it. So understand, you cannot take those things with you. You might be in the middle of being saturated by worldly possessions through a demonic angelic being that is trying to keep you on the path of self-destruction. I know many people that have left their spouse then remarried a concubine and their drinking habits and their smoking habits and they continue to grow even darker and darker. And then Satan puts them in a big comfortable house so as they become weaker and more broken, he'll make sure that they have a nice mattress and a big TV to watch and a nice vehicle to drive. But you have to understand, sometimes as you're falling, you can also feel like that you're being exalted verse 26 of Luke chapter 9 Whoever for many have been ashamed of me and my words, him, the Son of Man, will be ashamed 
of when he shall come in the glory of himself and of the Father and of the holy angels. So if you're not going to accept the principles of Yahweh and let Christ be your high priest, guess what? All those worldly possessions that you have gained, those things will stay in the world. Verse 27 of Luke chapter 9. I say now to you truthfully, there are some of those here standing who know not shall taste of death until they have seen the kingdom of God. You need to understand that when... Christ did what he did at the cross for us he became the high priest of the kingdom of Yahweh now once again his birth is at the end of the year because he is making it very easy for you to come to him at the peak of your wickedness. That way he will give you a hand up and you can start the new year off the way that you need to start it off. So let your new year's resolution become seeking the kingdom of Yahweh. Make a decision today that I'm going to seek God. That way he will be the author and the finisher of my tomorrow. And I will automatically have a better year. You will become successful. You will see a steady gain. Now, you have to understand, in order to become a member of the kingdom of Yahweh, you have to repent from your worldly ways. And then through that, you have to begin to accept the morals and the and the laws of the kingdom you have to obey those so you cannot continue to do the same things that you have done you have to understand it's time to repent and turn from your wicked way So, that means no more participating in worldly sinful desires. And believe me, the worldly laws contradict Yahweh's law. 
But Yahweh law is the main law that you need to follow. So, you need to begin to study the Bible. And there is a good list of things that you don't need to participate in. And they are found in Galatians chapter 5, towards the end of the chapter. It gives a list of 17 of those things. So, also, too, you can study the Ten Commandments. You're going to have to clean up your life, and Yahweh will be there to guide you through that transition, and he will begin to set you free. Now, it is a process. Some things you are able to let go of very easily. Some things... They are a difficult habit to break. So you know what you need to repent of. The best thing you can do is continue to listen to me and just study the Bible. You can message me and ask me for advice. You can uh, call me. My number is always available. And then through that process, you need to understand that you're going to begin to build a relationship with Yahweh. This is known as faith towards God. Just like when he delivered me from smoking and delivered me from bad eating habits, I built faith faith in God so faith cometh and it comes by relationship with the creator you always pray to Yahweh in the name of his son and ask him to fill you up with his knowledge and help you build your spirit Your spirit is your characteristics. So now, and that brings me to the next subject, which is baptism in the spirit. You need to be immersed in the knowledge of the kingdom daily. You need to have Yahweh give you revelations daily. You need to have him help you go through a change daily. Now, the next one after that is the laying on of hands. You have to understand that Yahweh is going to be very involved in your life and you are going to be set up as an example. And he's going to begin to take you and empower you with the message to spread to the world. He will give you five different ways to contact people. Five different ways to approach people. This is known as the fivefold ministry. He's going to help you. And then the next one is the resurrection of the dead. You're going to be able to determine who is dead in Christ and help them to become alive in Christ. You're going to understand in-depth detail and begin to have it a lot of inside information on what the kingdom of Yahweh really is all about. And then you will begin to understand eternal judgment. 
you'll know about the new heaven and new earth. Yahweh will begin to give you that revelation. So you need to understand that in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 3, Yahweh made a way back to him through his son. And it says that Yahweh designed... A special helper that will consume your body and it helps Yahweh control you. It gives him access to send you valuable information. See, Yahweh sent his son to the earth to help minister the gospel and to eliminate all the false information that was spread by the Pharisees and Sadducees. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, it talks about Yahweh's plan of salvation for the earth. And as he is telling the prophet Isaiah all this information, he begins to tell Isaiah that he's going to send his son and start a kingdom and then set the place of his son's birth on display and then protect it. And through that, he is going to come rule and reign with his son. So, start the new year off by letting go of the world and accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And through that, you will have access to the Spirit and you will grow in knowledge and you will be able to have a personal relationship with Yahweh, the Creator. So, it's very simple. The correct way to receive salvation, you have to come to the cross and ask for forgiveness Allow Jesus Christ to change you with the help of the five-fold ministry. And then through that, you will gain access to the kingdom of Yahweh through the Spirit. And you will become a member and a productive citizen of the kingdom of Yahweh. That's the correct way to receive salvation. You need to be saved daily, and every issue that you're facing, you need to receive salvation, and then your spirit will grow, 
your knowledge and your wisdom and all these nine gifts that the Spirit has for you to give to you to empower your spirit because your spirit and the spirit that Yahweh designed to consume you becomes one with Yahweh. And through it, you have access to two worlds. But you need to be willing to go through the process of change. So understand that. You need to be willing to to change your wicked ways. And it's not a difficult thing for you to do. You just need to accept the truth. You just need to be willing to receive the correct information. So start doing that today. Now, I'm going to play y'all one song as I end this video. And then after this after this song we will do something a little bit different hallelujah my goodness sometimes you just have to be persistent. You need to get yourself in tune with Yahweh. Sometimes it can be a process. be willing to work at it. You have to adjust your life. Sometimes it takes some effort don't always just come easy. Sometimes you really got to listen. sound correct Oh, 
Galileia. God is good. Sometimes you have to try. Without giving up. Yeah, let's go. Hallelujah. God is good. Upon me, fear of truth. God. I will never forget how to smile. Fear of pain. Help me, oh, I need so that I will be able to sit still while I wait upon your way to visit. Oh, 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 it's 
Think about what my future holds for me. Oh, Yahweh, please don't forget about me. Oh, Father, can you hear me as I cry out to you? Oh, Yahweh, please open your ears up and hear me. Oh, don't leave me alone. Oh, Yahweh, I need your spirit like never. me up with your wisdom. Oh, because without it, there's no way that I can make the correct decision. Oh, Yahweh, without you leading me. Oh, there's no way that I can make it through another day. Hallelujah. So, you need to understand that you need to be willing to change. We'll do one more, and after that, we'll end this video. All right. Father, your spirit. 
song that I play on here, Yahweh gave me. I don't play cover songs. So, understand that you need to be willing to change. You need to be willing to go from wicked to holy. You need to come to Yahweh through Jesus Christ the correct way. You need to pray to Yahweh in the name of Jesus. Even though your situation that you're facing right now, it can be very difficult, and you could have been in that trial for a long time, and it can seem like you've been there for many moons. But if you're willing to come the correct way to Yahweh through Jesus Christ, you will receive supernatural help. So, God bless y'all, and we will see y'all next time.